Hi everybody, this is Jen from Scrapping Posh and this is what I've been working on for the last few days. This is um, a junk journal that I made from the kit, that the shabby chic kit that I had uh, did a haul on a few weeks ago. And the story behind this, and I'll link the haul below so you can see what comes in the kit. Obviously it's put together now so you won't be able to see it. So um, the story behind it is, is that the lady who uh, is an admin at the face group, Facebook group Paper Crafters Swapaholic Not So Anonymous, her name is Michelle Edmonds, and she had put together a, um, a crop and then she couldn't go so she had bought these kits for the crop and um, like I said she was unable to actually go and uh, for medical reasons so she has a fair amount of these kits left um, now they are numbered so if you want to get one of these kits you probably should do it pretty quickly um, she's asking if you could just go to the Facebook group and uh, send her a friend request and a message. Uh, that would be the easiest way to get a hold of her. So again, it's Paper Crafters, Swapaholics, not so anonymous. And her name's Michelle Edmonds. And it's a really fun group. I've been in it for oh, probably four or five months now. And um, it's, it's, an, it's an awesome group. So, um, having said that, uh, check out the link below for what exactly comes in the kit, and I will tell you as I go what I put in and what came with the kit. Having said that, that these are the extras that I have. Um, I did not use the 4x6 page slot, uh, page protectors. Uh, it, come, it came with two, so there's, you can, I could have put them in with the pages, or we could have made a shaker puck. We could have done lots of things with those, but it was getting pretty bulky. Um, my empty, my empty bags here. Um, I still have quite a bit of ephemera left. I have the little, um, bag and... The glass beads, I could have done it. I could have done a lot of with the glass beads um, and the acrylic flowers here. I could have done something on the front cover, but I wanted to leave it plain. So um, with those embellishments, with the the plain front cover, I just didn't think that it um, it went with it. Um, I didn't want to make the inside any bulk bulkier, so I didn't add those but if I would have it would have probably been um, either like on the front cover a really nice uh, flower I couldn't put it on the spine because it is a curved spine that would have been the other option is to make it a big nice arrangement on the spine but these will be useful in many other things I do many albums uh, all the time so I can always use those. I have a wood veneer heart that I painted or stamped or inked pink. Um, I could have put that in my shaker pocket. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> and it's sealed so it's not going in there. I have a few of the cut aparts left because I use quite a few of them. I have one silk flower left. Looks like four buttons. And that's the extent of the ephemera that I have left, um, as far as the cut parts and stuff go. Um, these are vintage tickets, and I think you got like eight of them, so I still have four of those left. And she said these are at least 50 years old, so they are vintage. Um, I have a, a small paper bag, um, a couple guest checks. I used some, or one of them. I have uh, two of these time cards. I also use one of those. Uh, I have these uh, list papers. I did not use any list papers. I started to use this one. 
It's got glue on it. I started to use this one. I even put the tassel on it, but it didn't. Uh, it didn't make the. Didn't make the cut for this album. Um, let's see what else do I have in here. Um, that one's, uh, one tag, one die cut. Oh, um, looks like three small flowers, some more of the resin shapes, and some pink pearls I could always stick in there. And then um, the large envelope didn't make it. Probably just because it was holding all this stuff off to the side. Um, but I, I would have had to, whoops, if I used it, I would have had to um, cut it down before I used it anyways. And then I have... This is the ribbon I have left. I use both of these as a bookmark. I use some of this pink twine-like stuff, but I still have some. Uh, I use some of the off-white, but I still have quite a bit of that. Uh, they're both, I don't know what they're called, but they're twine. I really like this dark eyelash trim. And I use some of each of these. There's a white, I'm almost out of the brown, and then here's the pink. So I still have some of that. So I still, even though I've made this huge book, I still have stuff left. Okay, so let's get into the book. It is almost like a six by nine. It's like a five and three quarter by eight and three quarter or something. Um, I use 8.5 by 11 paper, and it has a 2 inch spine and it is rounded. It has at least 6400, it has at least 128 pages in it of different varying kinds of stuff, but I'm pretty sure it has more. I use the pale pink seam binding that came in the kit which I love for a closure and along with one of the silver charm hearts that came in the kit I used my own garment pin for that now on the inside I used my own scrapbook paper oh and the fabric cover I used my own fabric um, but this was all stuff I had laying around. I didn't purchase anything. It came with the cheesecloth, which it was enough cheesecloth to make flowers, but honestly, I couldn't figure it out. So uh, I have some a dictionary thing, meaning um, the die cuts that came with the kit. This fringe trim came with the kit. Uh, the large doily came with the kit, along with the die cuts and another cut apart and this pink bag also came with the kit. I'm going to tell you what didn't come with the kit. That would be easier. Um, I did use three pages of three or four pages of Christy Designs cut aparts. She has an Etsy store and uh, right now her ephemera is on sale. So I did use three or four pages of her cut aparts and then I used Digital Paper by uh, Digital Curio in the Rose Gold Ephemera is what it's called. And I printed the digital paper on the back of the cut apart. So. And then I used my own coffee stain paper. A whole bunch of it. Um, again, there's coffee stain paper for journaling. Um, this is my ledger paper. All the trim, with the exception of one trim, and I'll tell you which one that is, came in the kit. This was a ribbon and I just bunched it together as I was just sewing. And you guys have no idea how to sew, so that's... <laughs> I did it so anybody can do it. This is my shaker. Uh, I put glitter and sequins that from what I had. This is one of the Christie Designs. 
and a lot of the gold um, cut aparts. And this shaker pocket is made from what I called the shipping label holder in the video. Again, the trim from the kit. And another, I have I the, another one of my garment pens with just um, silver, or gold, and red and pink button. I did some stamping. Um, here's some of that eyelash trim and some of those ephemera cards. Oh, she's upside down. Oops, she's upside down too. Easily fixed. Okay. And then these are just some punched butterflies that I used on the edge of that um, page. Pink paper came in the kit. Oh, and the, the cardstock that I used to cut the, or to print out the digital paper was also in the kit. Here's the other side of that bag. Just some washi tape I had. Uh, this clip came in the kit. Uh, this is the digital paper from Digital Curio. I really liked it. Uh, and this is, like I said, on the back of the cardstock that came in the kit. Uh, there's a die cut that was in the kit. And this envelope came in the kit. Um, this is scrapbook paper that I had in my Dash. It's called Haberdashery from um, Hobby Lobby. More digital paper. I actually printed digital paper on the pink paper that was supplied in the kit. And the trim. The dictionary page. Um, this is my envelope and I printed an image on it of a castle. It's actually supposed to be Hogwarts, but it doesn't look like Hogwarts. And another one of the charms that came in the kit. This is a Tim Holtz uh, like paper clip, clipping those old uh, tickets on there. Another one of the cut aparts, and a doily that came in the kit. This is the dictionary page, digital paper on the, printed on the pink, and then. Lots of room for journaling, or whatever you want to do with it. Uh, puzzle pieces that came with the kit. I inked them, and stamped them, and then added some uh, stickles. That's one of the ephemera that come in the kit. And two digital cut aparts. And I just used the puzzle pieces, pieces as a tuck spot. And these little flowers came in the kit. Some more tea dyed stuff. Um, a stamp. Again, that's a pink paper that I ran through and printed the digital on. Just a crossword. Some, <laughs> this is one of the buttons. And this is a bookmark that I made with the ribbon. Uh, this is a large piece of washi tape. And the ribbon, the washi tape I have my stash. Um, the tags came in the kit. Uh, this is the ribbon that I use from my stash, and I just pulled that out one because it was sitting on my desk, and two because it was brown and I wanted a little bit more brown because I had lots of pink, <laughs> but not as much brown as I wanted. And this is one of the cut aparts from Christy Art Design. And the tag came in the kit, and so did the bag check. Washi from my stash. That's graphic 45, I think. <coughs> More trim from the kit. A large doily from the kit. Um, one of the die cuts. And this is a Christy Art Design. And another charm that was in the kit on one of my garment pens. And this is, again was a large ribbon. I bunched it together to make this fluffy thing. Um, large bag and a different kind of ticket 
and another die cut and then I use some of the extra trim for like a tag. Uh, I did some more stamping. It's one of the die cuts that came in the kit. It's like a bird cage. Um, gold doily that I had in my stash. Another ledger page. Um, the glassian bag that has um, dry emboss on it came in the kit. And then there's a die cut. And I just filled the bag with stuff. Um, it's just a piece of coffee dyed paper. And then some more cut aparts. Another pink paper that I did digital on. There's the other half of that gold doily that I got my that I got from my stash. And then this cut apart came with the kit, or this die cut came with the kit. And then there's one of the ladies and the time card that came with the kit. It's in this um, this bag. Also came in the kit. So get the information below. This was in the kit. All this was in the kit. Um, to get a hold of her, the price it's um, thirty-five dollars plus thirteen dollars and seventy-five cents shipping because she does have to put it in a large flat rate box because it, it does contain twelve by twelve papers. I cut those twelve by twelve down because I didn't use them for the cover, although I definitely could have. Um, one of the one of the 12 by 12 papers I haven't got to yet. Uh, one of them was pink. That came in the kit. I'll tell you when I get to them. This here is uh, Stamperia rice paper, and it makes a good addition. I like the different textures, uh, and I got that from Artistic Studio Creations Design. I'll put their link below too. This is one of the papers that was in the kit. That's the other part of it. Uh, these flowers were also in the kit. There was a real thick pink paper that I did some printing on. This is where I used those uh, fabric rosettes and this Julie netting little prima girl or little girl came and I put her on there with a garment pen and that one came in the kit. The vellum, there was two sheets of vellum in the kit. I printed on one and I left one plain. There's a ribbon I got from my stash. This is just some pattern. Oh, that one's not even attached. All right. <laughs> this one's attached. <laughs> Um, pink paper from the kit that I printed on. It's a new tuck spot. It's empty. Uh, some more stamping. It's the other half of that vellum. There is an upside down stamp. Um, I could cover that, but I'm not. Um, I got um, that one's from my stash. And this uh, music paper is from my stash. This one's from my stash. The beads came with the kit. And it is printed on one of the papers that came in the kit. Here's the other vellum that came in the kit. I used some acrylic mousse to make a little design, a little embossed, raised embossed design. Some more cut aparts. The die cut that was in the kit. This is one of the papers that came with it. And this is a printable that was um, another heart charm. This the die cut came in with the kit. Um, some more die cuts. It's the other half of that vellum, the other half of that cardstock, and the flower. And here we go. I got through the whole thing. 
All right, you guys. Um, some more eyelash trim back here. So, again, I appreciate everybody watching. If you enjoyed this album, why don't you come on over to the Paper Craft or Swapaholics, not so anonymous. Um, it was a ton of stuff for the for the amount of money, and it was a lot of inspiration. I would have never made a shabby chic album if I hadn't been inspired by um, the pinks and the trims and the laces that came in the kit. So think outside the box if you're not a shabby chic person, and I think you will be uh, pleasantly surprised. So, again, thank you, Michelle. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. I appreciate all of you, and thank you very much. Bye-bye.